Nitrox, also called enriched air nitrox or EAN, is any gas mixture composed of nitrogen and oxygen. So in theory, the air we breathe, which is approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% mixed gases, could be called nitrox too, but we just call it air. In scuba diving, when diving nitrox, we use a mixture that has more oxygen than air. We identify the nitrox we are using by the fraction of oxygen, or FO2, in the mix. FO2 is the percentage of oxygen expressed as a decimal. Thus, a nitrox mix containing 28% oxygen has an FO2 of 0.28, and we should identify it as EAN28. The two most common nitrox mixes in use are EAN32 and EAN36. They are sometimes referred to as NOAA Nitrox 1 and NOAA Nitrox 2. According to Dr. Bill Hamilton's History of Nitrox, the first use of nitrox in diving can be traced to Henry Floos, who used it in 1879 for a salvage job. During the 50s, the Navy and various commercial dive companies also began to use nitrox. And in the early 70s, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, published procedures and tables for EAN-32 and EAN-36 for their diving scientists. But Dick Rutkowski is credited in promoting the use of nitrox in recreational diving. In 1985, Dick Rutkowski, a retired director of NOAA Diver Training, developed and began marketing a nitrox training and certification program for recreational divers. In 1993, the Canadian Forces issued enriched air tables as an appendix to their diving manual. And finally, Nitrox went mainstream when several certification agencies introduced enriched air courses for recreational divers in 1995 and later. Currently, Nitrox is widely accepted, especially during dive trips that include multiple dives per day, as the reduced nitrogen uptake in our bodies allows us to dive longer and or reduces the risk of incurring decompression sickness. Press next at the bottom of the screen.